<laughs> Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. I wanted to get into VLC Player and how that can help you do some things you may not be aware of, most notably screen recording. Let's check it out. Okay, if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for joining in for this video. I like to surface cheap or free tools in the art technology world, trying to build a community of learning so that you and I can get greater efficiency and greater power for doing our art forms, our crafts. I come at this from more of a digital artist and photographer, and I love using open source tools to accomplish my vision for getting my art out there. Um, for this, this is really for everyone though to benefit and to learn and grow and I love it when people get involved in discussions to comment and to improve the experience that I may have missed or can expound on things that I've touched on that we can enhance in greater detail through discussion. So don't hesitate to get involved and get joined in and become a part of the photo learningism community. So thanks so much for joining in here. So VLC, this is a fantastic playback tool by the way, open source, free, it works on absolutely everything. I mean, <laughs> smartphones to different platforms on, on workstations, this thing is just so versatile, I, I can't believe it. Most people know it though as just strictly a playback piece of software, but lo and behold, it does a lot of other things. And you can look into all the different nooks and crannies, there's lots of them, but, but tonight, I really wanted to make you aware of its capability to screen record. And the reason that is useful is if you want to document things you're doing, or in my case, if I'm going to just do a long time recording of a photo I'm touching up or a digital picture that I'm working on and painting, this is a lightweight tool that does HD recording. It doesn't do audio, unfortunately. It's not that I found how. If you find a way, comment, let me know. But it's an excellent lightweight way to record a long sequence of what you're working on to screen record in, in full HD. Now you could argue and say, well, I can get that done with OBS or the, some other stream thing without streaming. Yes, you could, but those software packages are often very heavy lifted, a lot of background things running while it's going on that can slow your computer down and cause some lag. So this is lightweight gets the job done. You don't have to have a lot of stuff running to do it. That, that's kind of the, the benefit of using VLC for this, and I still use it myself. So let's take a dig and see how it actually works out here. So to get to it, it's hidden somewhat under Media, Open Capture Device, and you have to flip the capture mode down into Desktop. I like to do this with at least 30 frames. You could go higher. 30 has always got the trick done for me because you only really need 24 frames to get the illusion of continuous motion. 30 or more than does that. You can do 60 if you're crazy about that sort of thing. Not to imply that that's a bad thing. Some people just have a really um, uh, specific need to do 60 frames a second. Go ahead and do that, by all means. I do 30, <laughs> and that seems plenty. You have to change the mode down here to stream. And then next... And then we add a file into this and browse. You can kind of see why a lot of people don't find this. <laughs> and this is the easy part. You give it a name. You can pick a file format if you like. Otherwise, just leave it. And you can set the default through the background preferences. And we do next. And you can pick a lot of different profiles here. I like to keep it on the H.264, which is an HD codec. That's the one I think that comes default, but you can pick something else if that's more appropriate to your software that you're using. Because really the intention here is you're gonna record something long and then bring it into another editor. Um, I do that because the recordings, because they're so long spanning, you know, one, two, three, four hours, um, I like to speed them up into a time lapse and I'll do that in uh, another editor. Um, and I've covered other editors, by the way, in other videos like OpenShot or KDEN, which are open source free and very powerful. It can help you get that job done. So that aside, I like to keep it on the default. And really from here, you're good to go. The indication that you are rolling is this, uh, which I don't think you can see because it's off the screen here, but I'm gonna change this just slightly. If it'll let me do that and mess around to get it on the screen here. 
Oh, this is doing some funny sizing things here. Okay, right down here. There's a little clock that starts ticking and counting, and that is your indicator that you are recording. That's whatever is on the default screen uh, that is set up to do that. And you can do as you need to. It doesn't seem to be impacted by uh, leaving the mouse dormant because some screen recorders will actually interpret that as null motion and they'll just cut it out. Um, which for some things that could be helpful, but a lot of ways I find that's annoying because I sometimes want to pause and want to reflect and want something to be shown longer and I don't want that lost <laughs> in the recording. So that's a beneficial. When you're done, you hit stop at the bottom and then to actually finalize the file, you have to close the tool, otherwise it doesn't appear. <laughs> and we can bring that out over here. There's my test capture, MP4. And there we can see it going. And in a few moments, yeah, you'll see me playing around and kind of struggling to get that on the right screen and adjust it because that just did some weird kind of widescreen extendo thing I've not encountered before. <laughs> Things that happen while you're recording. Uh, but in any case, you can see it's very smooth. There's really no pixelation, no tearing as things happen. So a very high quality, well done enhancement and add on to that player. Who would have thought you'd have a screen recorder and a player? That all grant you is not what you'd expect. But again, free, clean, easy. Once you get through those couple of hops and get used to that part, it's a very powerful way to get started into recording yourself and then working with your recordings um, in a cheap and, and easy way. So VLC, I'll put a link to the download in the description below. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if this is helpful. Jump in and comment. Let me know if I've missed uh, something beneficial with this particular feature because I'd love to know about it if I haven't mentioned it. And thank you so much for watching this video. It helps me out so much that you're here and that you're involved and that you're interested. Uh, again, I'm Nate, Photo Learningism. I'll see you at the next video. You have a great night.